Hi friends, we're now at another Lowe's and we just want to check out what they have in in this store as well. I love that feature there in the wall. There are all the herbs. And seasonal plants. So as far as the lemon grass goes, it's fifteen dollars. And these are very young lemongrass because you can tell because the stalks are very thin. Um, they get to be like a little thicker than a pencil diameter when they're mature. Lots of citronella plants, 1998. These grow really well in Southern California. I just um, pot them up and I leave them abandoned. I wash, I water them sometimes and these get so tall and so big and uh, my sister had a great idea she um, has a pool and there's always a lot of mosquitoes sometimes in the summer so she just cuts a branch and just throws it on the ground by the pool and as we walk over it taking off our shoes to get in the pool then we step on it and it releases the scent But to get rid of uh, mosquitoes, lemongrass is better than citronella. I think this is the mint that I have, but I didn't know it was called sweet mint. It's called yerba buena. Anyway, I smell it and the shape and everything is like the mint that I grow all year round in my yard, directly in the ground. <laughs> so, right now it's $9.98 for this oregano, Greek oregano. See, I don't have peppermint, I don't think. I, I grew some from seed, and they're definitely a different shape. So, these almost look like the Vietnamese coriander shape Italian oregano okay so these leaves are smaller than the Greek oregano I'm trying to start identifying them lemon thyme oh mm, it does smell like lemon So at the slows, these are the clearance plants, and they didn't have these at the other lows. So here are some petunias in a hanging basket. They're normally $39.98, so they're clearanced at $20. And they're still in pretty good shape, but for a few plants over here. So these can be revived resuscitated. This one doesn't have any burnt. Um, maybe like a, a few. This one looks pretty good. Some some kind of plants that are a little suffering but I think they're they're still alive. Some bougainvillea. A rose. A bunch of other plants. Yesterday I saw a really big pot of lavender at the other Lowe's. Um, that was in the clearance section. But it was like, you know, it was in nice, good condition. Um, so here I see one for $9.98, which makes it like $5. However, I'm, I'm looking for different types of lavenders. And I believe I have this variety already. Gold Star Esperanza attracts butterflies.
Here's a pomegranate plant. So this is a, yeah, it's called the Gold Star Esperanza. So it's good for butterflies. Drought tolerant. So this would be a pretty good deal. Sun Patience Compact Series of Impa Impa Impatience. It's hard for me to say that word. Some canna, some exotic stuff in good shape, and there are a lot of plants in there. And a lot of Crown of Thorns and Euphorbia Fire. So these are roughly $30, 29 here. So 50% off. A lot more impati impatience, impatience, I don't know, impatience, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> that plant. Oh, this is a different looking sage or, let me see. So for $34.98, and so 50% off of that, you get a pretty large pot of Russian sage and it's got these beautiful purple flowers if you want to add that to your landscape and there are a lot of landscape plants so over here we've got six actually eight for $29.98 Agapanthus Africanus Peter Pan Blue Rose True Charm $30 it's like this cute little pink bloom here so $29.98 50% off of that Management special, three dollars. You get sweet flag grass, some chrysanthemum, vinca. What are these? I think they're little mini vincas. Yep, coral vinca. These are adorable. They're so small. I didn't know they were a smaller variety. Let's see. Lots and lots of that sweet flag. Sweet flag grass. Oh, some dianthus. They're pink in color, a lot of them. Mounding perennial. Well, if these weren't three dollars, if they were like one dollar each, I'd get them. But three dollars is a little bit much. But it's actually worth it if you're trying to get a lot of perennials because they come back year after year. So it might be worth it. So this management special is for five dollars and it's I'm guessing the whole tray of ground cover. So normally it's $22.98. And these don't look bad and it looks like it will survive and come back in, in full force and, and be good for ground cover usage. So and to get them for only five dollars. That's a pretty good deal. And this manager special is for only a dollar on this cart. And there are marigolds, African marigolds. And what else? Hmm. So 
Some petunias. Looks like vincas. Oh, this looks. This looks like. It's hard to tell. Okay, it's a lavender. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's a lavender or a rosemary when it's young without the flowers. Some succulents. A lot of succulents. And this other cart is five dollars. And ooh. I saw this yesterday at the other Lowe's. It's an echinacea. And this is a perennial. So it'd be like six fifty. And which one is this? The Sunseekers Red Cone Flower. Hmm. Let's see, for five dollars a little bit small for me. This would be okay to get for three or three or one. <laughs> Probably three, you know, but let's see. Oh, they're all red ones. These must have sat on the outside and so they got burnt. But I'm looking for other colors besides red. I guess they're all red. But let's get a true idea of the color of the flower. Oh. I thought I spotted one with a flower. Oh, I did. So, here's one with a flower. Actually, it's really pretty. I'll have to think about it. Here are some decorative ones. Twenty ninety eight Salvia Marine Blue. And this is a live still, as you can see right there. It just suffered a little bit. But see that would have been that would be like something like ten bucks, ten fifty. Um, to me, it's like a $5 plant. <laughs> However, being a salvia, it will come back. Here's another one of it. And to demonstrate the color of the flower, it's pretty gorgeous. It's like that dark purple, blue. And then this is a lavender Goodwin 34.98, and it looks pretty dry. I don't know if there's new growth under there, but when they come this far, sometimes they may not make it. So in this cart, there are a lot of the sun patients. and a lot of snapdragons. And these are upright annuals. And some of them look to be that they were yellow. And then some look pinkish. Okay friends, so this is one of the most quiet lows that I've been to. Usually they're blasting music. I really like this. Um, it's a lot more peaceful. <laughs> So um, I'm going to cover some fruit trees. Here are the Satsuma Plum and oof, where's the price? Oh, it's $44.98. It's quite a big tree. I'll probably give you fruit next year um, if it hasn't already made fruit. Oh, this always looks so gorgeous and delicious to me. Like I almost want to get the tree gold kissed apricot look at that color and look at the name gold kissed i love that so much and it's a healthy tree 44.98 <clears throat> <clears throat> 
some Kara Kara Semi Dwarf Orange for $46.98. Oh, I love that. This this store has a lot of variety. Early Alberta peach. I'm not going to turn the pot around to check the price because I don't want to damage the branches. So, Bartlett pear. They have quite a few varieties of things. I love that. So the Bartlett pear is $49.98. Gold Kiss Apricot, $44.98. These are pretty tall trees. They're about five to six feet tall. Hachia persimmon. This is a variety that you have to wait till this is fully ripe and then it's soft inside and you you just slice it open and you could just spoon everything in there. It's so good. It's like a delicious caramel tasting um, soft fruit. Like sweet, delicious. Now this is a Fuyu persimmon and those you can eat them when they're bright orange. They look like little mini pumpkins. My mom has, has this variety. And you can eat it crunchy or you can wait till it softens up. Delicious. Both of them are good. Just depends on how you want to eat it. Um, you could probably make jellies and jams from this one. Um, $64.98. As far as this goes, um, we, in Asian culture, sometimes you just slice it, um, slice it this way and then you dr you um, put sugar on it and then you dry it and so you have like dried fruit to eat that's delicious ooh they have Buddha's hand orange and a quite big plant for $46.98 wow I haven't seen that in a while um in the last couple years, I don't know if there was something going on with the fruit trees, especially the citrus family. Um, so they didn't have that many to offer, let alone the unique, you know, the unique um, kinds of citrus. So here's another uh, Satsuma plum, forty-four ninety-eight. Rio Red Grapefruit, Palmelo Rio Red, that's $46.39, Gold Kissed Apricot, again, Bartlett Pear, Blenhelm Apricot, ooh, that looks really delicious. I am partial to apricots, they taste so good. Um, early Alberta Peach. Yep, those, there are two of those over there, back there. Mm. Ooh, Fruit Pear Danjo Red, $39.98. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Da Danjo, Danju, I don't know. Bartlett Pear, Bartlett Pears, Santa Rosa Plum. More Park Apricot. Ooh, let me zoom in on that one. Looks really good. Gold Kiss Apricot. So they have the varieties, which is great. And um, so you can, luckily, there's more than one of each. So. People don't have to fight over it. <laughs> um, so far, more the same. Pears and apricots. Oh, here's a close up of the Moore Park apricot. So, 
So what I do when I'm at the store and I see something I'm interested in, um, and I don't know how it tastes, for instance, the Satsuma plum versus the Santa Rosa plum, I would research what they taste like really quick and see which one sounds like the variety that I'm interested in, and then I'll purchase that variety. So a quick search can help you find what you want rather than, because sometimes they'll tell you if it's a tart fruit, if it's a sweet fruit, if it's a popular fruit. So, so black mission fig and Turkish, Turkish fig and let's see. Blenheim apricot. It just looks so plump and juicy and I love that that orange color. Little Miss Figgy. Oh, it's got fruit already. So I heard that the fruits are pretty delicious and that this variety of fig grows very slowly. So this one is $44.98. It's about two feet tall. Um, I bought one last year from Lowe's and it was way smaller than this it was like not even a foot tall or maybe it was and it is still just that tall that tall it's very small um, here are some blueberries some olives some more citrus these are the Eureka Dwarf Lemons. Meyer Improved Lemon. Rio Red Grapefruits. These are now the shorter trees. So they're not the five feet, six feet trees. These are about two to four feet tall. Two to three and a half feet tall. Washington Naval Orange. Valencia Orange. Star Ruby Grapefruit. Ooh. So these are not as orange as the real red. It's a pomelo as well. Pomelo Star Ruby. Ooh, I wonder if these were kind of like the Texas Ruby Red grapefruits that I loved at Costco. I, I love the flavor. Rio Red Semi Dwarf Grapefruit. I don't see those anymore. That was like years ago. They don't have it anymore at Costco. Valencia Semi Dwarf Orange. Semi Dwarf Cocktail Hybrid Grapefruit. Hmm, curious how that tastes. Wouldn't it be cool if they had like those fruits for you to taste and then you would be like driven to buy the, the tree, <laughs> the fruit tree. Um, here is the early Alberta peach. So now these are going back to the, um, a little bit taller. So these are a little less expensive. These are $29.98. They're taller than those two foot tall plants. Um, so Alberta peach. And I like that it says early Alberta peach. So I'm guessing it blooms early. Um, uh, it fruits early. And Nectarine Double Delight. Oh, yes. These have delicious fruit. And the flowers are pretty because they're double-bloomed flowers. So I think that's why it's called Double Delight. Avocado. I wonder if it's called Double Delight because it blooms like this pretty bloom that you get delighted about. And then you get the fruit afterwards, which is delightful as well. <laughs> So here are some avocado trees. Ooh, a pink lady apple. I knew um, 
a teacher, one of my kids' teachers that loves pink lady apples. Every time I, I hear of pink lady apples, I think of her. Because she told me that. Okay, so that is it. Valencia orange are really mature ones. So this is like, this for sure is fruiting already. So this one is 131.98. And then way back there is a gold mine nectarine, which I have, haven't read because that's the first one I saw. That's one of the 44.98 ones. I have to show you this. This is, I've been to a bunch of stores and I've seen Gerbera daisies, but I have never seen them this massive. Look at this bloom. It's like the size of the palm of my hand. Same with this one, this yellow one, this white one. They're just huge. I don't know what they're feeding these plants. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look. That's bigger than my hand for, for the three blooms combined. Beautiful. So these are 748. I found some, some more of the, of the same. They're just huge. And all it says is, oh, maybe that's why. It's called Mega Revolution Select Mixture Gerber Daisy. So maybe it's that mega, because <laughs> this is huge. It's so pretty. I like this color too. It's not coming out true to the color. It's like a almost mauve color. It's coming out looking kind of red, but it's more pink than this red. So let me see if I can get them side by side. Nope, it's not coming out true to what it is. Here are the indoor plants. 